Hi Pisces, welcome to your angel reading for January. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Pisces, I decided to switch it up this month. If you're familiar with my readings, I've been doing messages from your spirit guides. I decided to do an angel card reading for this time. So I hope you like this. And uh, Pisces, I am uh, thinking about discontinuing the spiritual readings as they're not getting a lot of views. It seems like the love readings are the more popular readings. So you can let me know in the description box if you would like me to continue the spiritual type readings. And I've also been thinking about discontinuing the tarot forecast, the general readings, as they don't seem to get a lot of views either. So again, let me know um, if I do continue to do these spiritual readings, I may change the theme every month. So one month it may be spirit messages or one month angel messages or one month uh, animal spirit messages or messages from the sacred world or divine energy messages, you know, different theme every month, but still a spiritual, spiritually based reading. But I may also discontinue it. I may continue them in the future down the road as the channel grows. Uh, and flourishes and uh, people enjoy the readings more then I may incorporate them in the future and I've also started doing the element weekly uh, forecast readings which they don't seem to be getting many views either so I may discontinue those also I think I'll try them a few more weeks see how it goes and um, I'm not sure yet but you can let me down, know down in the comments uh, what you think so Pisces welcome Pisces welcome everybody I hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas, a happy new year. So let's see what your angel team wants you to know at this time, Pisces. And I say at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, your playlists are below in the description box, love in general. And the angel or spiritual readings and the general readings are under the general readings and singles in love is under the love readings. So please feel free to check that out if you'd like to. And a lot of stuff in the description box, how to reach out for a personal reading, social media links, decks I'm using, um, if you'd like to tip or donate or send a gift, all that is below. So thank you. So let's get three from each oracle here for you, Pisces. Right now, this is the Guardian Angel deck. That's too many. And... Uh, then we have the Archangel deck, then we have the Crystal Angels, and then I will clarify each card with one tarot card, and I have the Animal Totem Tarot there. So, And then also here, uh, Pisces, I do have the Angel Answer, so if there's a question you would like answered, or if you want advice or guidance about a certain subject, whatever you have in mind, think about that during this reading. At the end, I will pull one Angel uh, Answers card for you pertaining to whatever you're thinking of so we may get an answer we may get advice or guidance so think of that throughout this reading so let's get three of these for you pisces three of these just a quick shout out to everybody who supported the channel if you're new or subscribed or reached out for a reading for personal reading uh tip donated sent a gift whatever here i truly truly appreciate everybody's support this channel wouldn't grow and flourish without everybody's uh, likes, views, shares, subscribes, and supporting it. And however you do that is truly, truly appreciated. So thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see what we have for Pisces. Beauty. So I will read from this deck. I will read um, out of the book because there's a lot of messages with these cards. And I'll let you know which um, angels are coming through. And we have service. So these two red borders are the same angel. And then we have purpose. So you didn't get um, an archangel to come through here, but you will over here. So, so the red border is, I believe, um, Archangel Uriel. So if you want to look up Archangel Uriel, that may be an angel that may help you because you have two um, messages coming through under Archangel Uriel. So the first one here is beauty. A lotus flower grows from a muddy riverbed. A diamond sparkles within a rock. Gorgeous scented roses bloom among thorns. You too have the inner beauty waiting to be revealed. 
The angel of beauty reminds you to appreciate this wonderful essence within you. Sit with your eyes closed and breathe deeply. Imagine a perfect rosebud in your heart. See it open slowly, unfurling its soft red petals and releasing its gentle fragrance. As the rose opens fully, see a bright diamond in the center. This represents your soul. Carry this brightness with you into the world. Any time you meet someone, affirm silently, the beauty in me greets the beauty in you. In this way, you can express your beauty for the good of all. So that's a nice message there. So knowing your own inner beauty, valuing that, and cherishing and nurturing that, and knowing you do have that inner beauty to shine outward to others, and then accepting everybody else's beauty as they shine outward to you. So it's like an exchange, <laughs> a beauty exchange. <laughs> Okay, so we have here service. So let me just find that one. Okay, we have service here. We might not all be able to save lives or do other heroic deeds, but everyone can play a part in society by willingly share their talents, willingly sharing their talents. The angel of service encourage you, encourages you to give your capabilities, knowledge, and time to help and inspire others and thus making a difference in the world. Call on the angel of service to support you as you serve others in your own way. Ask her to show you the people or situations that most need your aid. If you need money, resources, or assistance, ask her to help you to attract it. Whatever you do for others, do it with warmth for the higher good of all. If there are any tasks that you dislike, ask the angel to help you to accomplish them with gladness and good grace. So it's a message for some. Um, so maybe, you know, if you need assistance, help or service, or you're, you know, having people ask you for your help service in some way, or needing to do things that you really don't like to do, but you have to do, you know, really uh, asking for help and guidance through that. So we have purpose here with the white border, which is Archangel Gabriel. So if you wanna look up that angel, and let's see, we have purpose here. Your soul yearns to fulfill its purpose in life, to express your true self. The angel of purpose is here to show you how. Consider your work, personal life, and beliefs and review the steps that brought you to this point. If these aspects of life fill you with energy, it is a sign that they are vital to your soul's purpose. However, if any of them make you tired, depressed, or even ill, you need to change them. Sit quietly and call on the angel of purpose to help you. Then make a list of all the things that you would love to do. Start by doing the smallest one and work through the list. As you spend more time following your heart, you will attract positive energy that will help in bringing your dreams to fruition. So that is almost like your life purpose in some way. Maybe your life purpose is to be a service to other people in some way, whether that is through your career. Um, if you, you know, service people, you know, you could be a counselor, a therapist, you could be an advisor um, of some kind, something where you help people. And that's maybe how your inner beauty shines out to others. So keep that in mind. Okay, Pisces. So let's see what we have here. Outdoors, Archangel Jophiel. Go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. So some of you may need to get outside more. Exercise, walk, just breathe in nature, the air. Um, and the, just the beauty of outdoors and connecting with nature, animals. Being, you know, feeling that peaceful, harm harmonious energy. So we now we have prioritize Archangel Metatron. So this is the first time I get this angel in these readings. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. So needing to priority start, prioritize certain things. Some things that aren't so important. Maybe putting them on the back burner for now. And dealing with the more important things. Divine Order, Archangel Raguel, everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlining order. So whatever you're going through, um, whether you know you <laughs> you can't understand 
what's going on. You don't know why this is happening, whether it's too good to be true or a really tough time or whatever your situation is here with the divine order. It's meant to be something you're meant to go through, learn lessons from and uh, move forward from. So whatever is happening for now is unfortunately meant to be, whether it's fortunate or unfortunate. So so let's see here. So these are crystals. So if you're familiar with crystals or you've been thinking about working with crystals, there are some uh, crystals here coming out. So we have Tanzanite, ready to love again. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. Oh, something healed from the past, but now ready for something new. Aqua Aura, healthy communication and relationships, heart to heart discussions and clear assertive communication help you understand and be understood. So having healthy communication will have healthy relationships basically. So learning, some of you need to learn how to communicate clearly, compassionately, lovingly, um, honestly. And now we have Jane, wellness, the recovery of health and wellness is here. So whatever, if you've been recuperating or not feeling well or going through something, overcoming something, that uh, things will get better and recovery and wellness is here. So it's a good sign. All right, so Pisces, I'm gonna go draw one card for each card to give a little more meaning. And then I will pull an the angel answers for you. So getting an answer or advice or guidance for your question at the end. So I do ask Pisces if you like how I read, especially for you new. Um, you can check out my channel, and if you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. If you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post, uh, post all my readings. As I said right now, I'm doing um, four different readings plus the Element Weekly, but I may be cutting back to just love readings. I'm not sure yet, but you can check it out. You can check out my channel, and if you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell. If you do, thank you. All right, Pisces. Let's get some clarification here for you, Pisces. On these, for you, Pisces, from your angel team at this time. Angel team, thank you so much. Oh, it's two. I just want one. Thank you. All right, let's see what we have here. We have beauty and we have the eight of pentacles. So this is... You know, maybe you need to work on valuing valuing yourself, your self-worth, um, knowing that you are worthy, that you are beauty, that you have beauty within you to shine outward. And maybe you, you know, you shine at work, whatever your career is. Maybe that's where your beauty shines out to others. And I had got that message before that maybe this is a career thing, that maybe you... Um, your life purpose is being of service to other people. And that's where you truly, truly shine your inner beauty and light out to others. Could be at work or needing to work on knowing your inner beauty from within. However, that resonates for you. And then we have service and we have the magician. So this is manifesting a new beginning. So if maybe if some of you have been thinking about changing a career, your career or going into something of being of service to others, or maybe even volunteering or something like that, and you've been wanting to do that, but you haven't been taking action, this is telling you it's time now to manifest whatever um, you've been thinking of wanting to do here to be of service to other people. It's time to manifest that forward with the magician energy. And then we have purpose, and we have the Ten of Pentacles. So I see here that Whatever your life purpose is, whatever you feel like your purpose is, it's going to bring you all this growth, abundance with the Ten of Pentacles, um, financial fulfillment in every single way, you know, being stable and grounded and not really having to worry much here. So being financially fulfilled in every single way by following, I feel, your life purpose. All right, so we have outdoors, Archangel Jophiel, go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. So the Five of Pentacles is about, and you see they're outside in the snow, we're in winter right now, so it's <laughs> just definitely telling you you need to get outside, even if it's snowy out. 
But the Five of Pentacles is an energy of feeling lost, abandonment, neglected, left out in the cold. Um, but I'm just feeling here, if you've been feeling kind of like blah and, you know, sad and just kind of eh, to get outside. Even if it's snowing out, get out there. Go for, you know, go somewhere, go for a sleigh ride, go, you know, or something like that. So right here we have prioritize, focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated, Archangel Metatron. We have the Two of Cups. So Two of Cups is about alignment. It's about unity. It's about coming together with like-minded people, having peace, harmony, love, compassion, seeing eye to eye, peaceful resolution. So I feel like whatever your high priorities are or you need to prioritize in your life will bring you in alignment with those around you, people, places, and things, being in harmonious, um, I don't want to say union, but being just harmonious with um, those things around you, this kind of energy. All right, so, and it could have to do with your love life. Maybe, you know, you need to deal with things in your love life, or maybe you need to focus more on your soulmate or your love life, you know, if you've been working too much or you know, not spending enough time with your person. Maybe that means also to spend more time with your person, however that resonates for you. So we have Divine Order, Archangel Raguel. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion. See underlying order. And we have the Hangman. So things could be stagnant and on a pause, a break, you know, you know, just kind of hanging back, you know, just being still. But whatever, if there's a pause or a break or things are um, not moving forward right now, kind of stagnant, it's whatever your situation is, and you've been waiting for some sort of movement, action, or something here, just know it's all divine order. And, you know, the hangman does eventually come out of that hangman pose and takes action. So, you know, eventually things will pick up again, things will move forward again, or whatever you're waiting on will come in. But if right now, the pause, the break, whatever it is for you is meant to be, it's divinely divine order. So you just have to understand that. And uh, it's whatever it is, it's meant to be. So, so we have Tanzanite, ready to love again. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. We have strength. So yeah, so now you're strong, you're courageous, you're brave. Um, you have willpower, endurance, you've healed from the past for some of you. And now you are strong enough to open your heart again to new love and ready to love again for some of you. So your angel team wants you to know if you've been thinking, I don't know if I can do this again. Yes, you are. You do have that strength. You are strong again to love again for some of you. And then we have Aqua Aura, healthy communication and relationships, heart-to-heart -heart discussions, and clear, assertive communication help you understand and be understood. We have the Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands is an energy of kind of just like patiently waiting, holding back for the right time. So you may have in the past not communicated clearly. Maybe you, you, know, you waited till it was too late to say how you truly felt. Um, you know, maybe you held back from saying things that you should have, and then you said it later when it was not the right time, that sort of energy. So your angel team wants you to know not to like wait to say what you truly want to say or feel. Um, because then you may say things at the wrong time. So don't put off. I mean, if you feel like something should not be said at all, you know, then that also the three of wands is maybe not saying it at all but holding back but i'm getting the energy of maybe some of you not always communicated clearly you waited too long or you said something later when you should have said it sooner you know that kind of energy so we have jade here wellness the recovery of health and wellness is here and we have the six of wands so success victory accomplishment moving ahead uh and being healthy six of wands is a very victorious um energy so if you've been recuperating or trying to recover from something or not feeling good 
I think, you know, wellness is saying that you will be very healthy <laughs> coming in soon here. All right. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have Six of Swords. So this is moving out of turbulent waters and heading into a more comfortable, peaceful place, moving forward uh, gracefully and healthy and more comfortable and peaceful here to a better place. Queen of Wands, so being fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy, zest for life again. Seven of Cups being a little confused, but now you have the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, so definitely here was feeling confused, but now getting wish fulfillment, dreams coming true, happiness and joy, and stable new beginning for some here, built on a firm foundation and uh, making your coin, and growth, abundance, moving forward for a lifetime here brand new beginning and then you've got the star here for healing faith hope optimism wishes and dreams coming true divinely guided and so we have divine order over here and the star is divinely guided so whatever you're going through here is divinely guided there's faith hope optimism wishes dreams coming true healing brand new beginning stable secure and grounded divinely guided uh, growth abundance for the future moving forward wishes dreams coming true again happiness and joy in every single way you know, feeling, you know, maybe feeling a little confused, but now feeling fiery, passionate, having zest for life again, maybe daydreaming about your future, moving forward, but moving forward to a better place here with the Six of Swords. So a lot of good energy there at the bottom of the deck for you Pisces. Okay, Pisces, let's see what we get here from the angel answers. If we get an answer, if we get um, advice or guidance, whatever you're thinking of at this time, whatever your question, whatever you have in mind. Let's see what the angel team has to say for you. For Pisces, please. Oh, that's okay. I'll take that one. <laughs> that one just flew up in the air, so that's your card. There's something better. So whatever your concern is, question, advice, guidance for you is there's something better. So I'm getting like if there's a situa situation now that you're in and you're wondering, should I move on? Should I move forward? Should I go do something else? Whatever. Whatever you're thinking of for the future, whatever you're stuck in now, whatever wherever you are now and whatever, whatever you're looking at moving forward, your angel team wants you to know that there is something better for you moving forward if that makes sense for you <laughs> and ask your angels at the bottom well we just did and they did say there's something better so that's the answer to that <laughs> okay Pisces so I'm sending you many light love and blessings best of luck to you and always always Pisces shine your light